Today I'm out on a fish lake, and I've been here before, uh, and when I introduced my kayak, uh, on that video I was fishing it in the morning. This lake does get a bit of pressure, and it's right off of 192 between St. Cloud and Kissimmee. It's not a very big lake, by any means. Um, it's bigger than a lot of the ponds I've been fishing in the past, and it only gets to about 8 feet deep. It's got a little bit of a tannic stain on it right now. It's usually kind of dingy looking, but I think it, uh, it's probably cleared up a little bit. Now, we do have some wind to compete with today. There are two good things about today. One, it's cloudy, and two, it's warm. Right now it's about 75 degrees. Now the reason it's warm is because we have a storm front coming in this afternoon. So I've got about two or three hours of fishing before I need to come off this lake and uh, get inside before the storms start to develop. Now hopefully the cloud cover will stay. It's supposed to be partly cloudy, but I hope the cloud cover will stay. That'll give us a break. And on top of that, it'll keep the wind down to a minimum. You know, I, it's supposed to have wind up to 12 miles an hour today. And right now, it's feeling like they're around eight, eight to 10. So as long as it stays cloudy, you know, and the war water doesn't warm up so, so quickly, we should be okay. Now, these fish, and because this lake is only about eight feet deep, you know, I, I'm not sure where these fish kind of hold up. I've caught a lot of them around the, the edges, not too, too many big ones. Uh, mostly, you know, one to two pounders. And this place does get a lot of pressure. So I'm hoping that I can scoot across the lake here and fish around some of the areas that have been cleared off by the, the local homeowners, kind of cast back in there, kind of fish offshore just a little bit and catch fish that are coming off beds or that might be going into bed. And in general, just feeding because the temperature and the barometric pressure should be right for these fish to really get out and be really active today. Now, might be some wind on the camera, I apologize for that. Other than that, we're gonna scoot across this lake and we'll see if we can't catch something. One of the things I really enjoy about living in Central Florida is no matter where you're at, or if you're in any type of city or urban area, like Orlando, Kissimmee, St. Cloud, Haines City, Lakeland, uh, Claremont, any of those places, you can get on a good body of water in you know, less than 15 minutes. This, uh, this lake right here is just a short drive from my house and I have access to this one. I have access to both Lake Tohos and places like Alligator Lake and, and other things like that. And it's, it's a real blessing to be able to kind of do that stuff, you know, in the mornings or late afternoons after work. So I'm hoping that we can get some production out of this lake today. The water's usually kind of dingy, but it looks like it's cleared up a, a bit and it's just, it's more like a tannic stain, which is typical for these Florida lakes. This one specifically is fed from a creek on the west side. So I'm hoping that, uh, I was thinking about making a run up there, but it's a long, it's a long paddle. And there's a lot of lily pads up there, but with being kind of windy like this, I don't think fishing top water is gonna work today. So we're gonna be fishing some darker baits, electric blue worm, Senko, and uh, a dark sprinter bait. I'm gonna work these edges over here. See if we can't find something. All right, I got my anchor out. I'm gonna fish these weeds here. I'm gonna start off with this uh, electric blue worm. I'm just kind of work the edge of these reeds down here. There's an opening down here, and then there's a dock down there. And then I think I might drift back across. The uh, the going is gonna be much easier than the, the coming since I kind of. paddled here into the wind. The wind is actually blowing to the west right now. It's, it's, it's kind of swirling. It was blowing at me, then it was blowing, now it's blowing more west. It's a lot of weeds in this lake. Um, kind of hard to see. I think we're probably about six to seven feet here. And it's probably, I don't have my glasses on, which is dumb. So it's kind of hard to see without any type of depth finder. We really want to get right up next to those weeds. I'm just gonna toss out this anchor. I'm gonna put it down real quick. Try not to lose my rod with my anchor.
that's a good fish. Ah, never mind, he hit like a good fish. Got one on this electric blue worm here. Alright, first fish of the day. Oh, come on. It's a little hard to stand up in a kayak and dehook these guys. Alright, nice healthy, chunky little one pounder there. He hit that uh, hit that worm there pretty hard, grabbed it and started running with it. So maybe there's more back there because he grabbed it and took off with it. So as I released that fish, another one just jumped out there, probably where I had my kayak sitting. Just to reiterate that this is not a deep lake whatsoever. You know, eight feet, 10, I think is the max. Right now I'm sitting in about three and a half foot of water. And we're a good distance from the shore. I wanna see if there's some fish pushed up in here. I saw one little one jump. And that's it. Just witnessed three different sets of bass lost on the surface here chasing bait fish. One in this corner, one behind me when I was kind of turning, and the one out there in the middle. Kind of get your blood pumping, but then it's also trying to get them to hit is so stressful sometimes. I don't know what to say. Got that one fish, you know, within five minutes getting over to the spot I wanted to fish, and I thought, okay, Got the right color, it's gonna be a good day. Had two other little bites. Seemed to be aggressive, fish are jumping. Every, you know, every now and then, fish are jumping, chasing bait fish, and I'm over here flabbergasted is why I can't figure out what they're doing or what they wanna eat. I'm gonna shoot over to the other side of the lake over here by this cow pasture. There's a little bit of a cod back in there. Let's see if any fish have pushed up in there. It's one fish so far. A lot. So the breeze is picked up again and we're headed in the right direction. So maybe the fish have pushed over here to feed. I, I don't uh, necessarily know, but I'm going to start at that uh, section of reeds there and I'm going to work my way back in towards the boat ramp. So almost there. This kayak is not fast whatsoever. So with that sun coming out, it's going to heat up the water. It's going to change the dynamic of this lake. So earlier it was kind of calm. It did, it did get kind of windy when it first show up, but uh, it's now going to be quite a bit breezier and I'm actually cooking at a pretty good pace even though it doesn't look like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work uh, this weed line here, work all the way down back and around towards the ramp. And this is good because I can see the other side of the lake where the storm will be coming from this afternoon. So if something pops up a little bit earlier, I can be prepared. Significantly picked up. Uh, going to anchor. I think we're right here in this little bay. I still want to fish. I just this is a uh, fishing in this is almost impossible, especially out there. So I'm going to anchor right here. <sighs> Take a break. Man, paddling in that is not fun. There is a bass underneath me right now. Literally, I just looked down and saw a, a bass down there swimming underneath my kayak.
good fish. I'll take that one any day. On the fluke. right side for the wind and uh this area back here has got some lily pads it gets shallow i've caught fish here before and this is real close to the uh boat ramp it's just really dang windy and the wind has actually died down compared to when it started and i was having issues earlier sorry for the awkward sorry for the awkward angles um it's just really hard to Trying to fish back towards the shore here amongst some lily pads and some grass. I'm trying to keep the wind off the camera, which I don't think I'm doing very well. And uh, I'm anchored, so the wind has kind of got control over where I kind of sway. Missed it. Missed it. You guys see that? Just, that's a good bat. Oh, he had it, he had it, he had it, he missed it. Ah! He grabbed it, he came back for it. Oh no, oh, backlash. That was a good fish, that was a good fish. I don't think he had a fool in his mouth. So I didn't get a chance to set the hook, so hopefully he comes back. Let's see him again. That was exciting. He missed it again. He missed it again. Got him that time. He came back for it a third and a fourth time, and I got him this time. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same one or not. Oh my gosh, there's a bigger one with him. I'm gonna get this guy off the hook. They're fighting. They might be schooled up right here. Beautiful fish, chunky, good size. That other one with him was probably a, a four pounder. Might be schooled up right here chasing. Ah, it's a little guy. Well folks, what turned in, what I thought was gonna end up being just a, kind of a fluke of a day, turned out to be a pretty good one. Tiny little dude. It's like they're stacked up right here. That other one that was with that first fish I caught, way bigger. Let's see if they're still, still they're out there. Where's he at? Ah, he hit that like a truck. Another little dude. I gotta replace the fluke. That's a fish. He didn't hit it as hard. It's another one. Little little guy. Hopefully I haven't gone through all the big ones. So this is exciting. I think they're kind of piled up in here. Um, I don't know if these fish here spawned or it's possible that they are pushing up in here to spawn, but I think they're feeding. Straight up, I think they're, I think they're just they're feeding. That one fish was gorged full. He was fat, that first one. And a couple of the other little ones that we caught were kind of chunkers, but those last two that hit, they didn't hit as hard as the as the first ones. It was more of a pick up the line went tight. And I'm like, I think that's a fish, but you know, and it pulled and but they held onto it. They didn't let go. So I'm hoping that there are still some more kind of chilling out here. Oh, 
another bomb through there. There he is. Hope you guys saw that. He came up for it. He wanted it. It's fighting hard. This is a better fish, I think. Oh, it is. A, this is a good fish. There we go. It's kind of after right here. There we go. Much better fish. Look how fat that thing is. Beautiful. They're still here. Beautiful, healthy fish. Look how fat that. That's a fat fish. I don't want to say they're spawning. Maybe I don't know what this means. I don't. Nothing's in the tail. If you know, tell me. Sorry for the wind on the camera. Let me turn this way. Beautiful, healthy fish. I want to say it's a combination of two things today. One is uh, we've got it's warmer weather and we got this wind blowing into this corner. And two, the pressure, air pressure is just right because we've got that storm coming in in a few hours. Literally, I was about ready to head in, so I sort of decided I was going to work this area here. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to go in. Uh, there's another one. This feels like a good one too. Oh, this is a good one. Oh my gosh. This is a big, big fish. I'm going to sit down for this one. Oh, it's a... It is a... Uh, it's a big bowfin. Oh. This is a huge... This is my biggest bowfin. It's a personal best, but... Not interested in getting him in the boat. So here's what we're gonna do. I wanna get him off the line quick. Ah. Okay. Let's see if we can just pop him off. This is a big bowfin. There he goes. Nope, I had a thump. I missed it. missed it again they seem to be piled up here in about this five to six foot range nope he let go of it he let go of it I think he's on it now there he is well, this feels like a good fish too nice nice just fighting hard Fat. Give him that. Come here. You're fat, fat. They're in front of me. They're all around me right now. They're just going nuts feeding. Oh, I had a thump. One on and out. That's a good fish. There we go. Get him up here. Let's not play around. Alright, 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 alright. Nope, 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 nope. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll get you back into the water. There we go, I came off. Another good fish. So these fish are just about everywhere around me, in front of me, around my side. And uh, it looks like a lot of the bait fish are underwater, but they're pushing pretty hard. Got one on now, I think. I do. I didn't get a good hook set, so hopefully he stays on. Another one, let's get him up in here. 
not a big guy. But at this point, you know, I'm having so much fun right now, I don't care. Another chunky fish. For my kayak, these are flukes that are just destroyed. Like, there's, there's no nose left in it for me to, to hook them. So I'm going through a bag of flukes here pretty quick. Had a bump. Didn't commit. There. Whoops. Is he on? Nope. Bumped it again. I don't know if that one's very big. That's why. Bumped the hook out. Grab the tail. yet. Birds are all over here. Oh man, that bird has a huge bass in its mouth. He's probably got a two pounder. Just having to look over. He's over there fishing just like I am. And these birds, yeah, he's got it. He's got it now. That's probably a two pound fish he's got in his, uh, in his mouth. Another healthy one. I don't know how he's going to eat that. You notice this is a good place first of all that other fish was that other bird was pushing a fish around and then we've got these turns up here they're just dive bombing and grabbing up the bait fish so this is definitely the place to be oh that is a big fish that is a big big fish it's a bass sit the land this big boy nice it's not huge but he hit it like a truck probably a three pounder there. That guy hit it like a truck. I thought it was way bigger than that. Let's take a look at this hefty, beautiful bass. Back in there. There he goes. The fact that he hit it that hard tells me that there's still are fish out here feeding. They're still competing for food. All I'm doing is I have white... Oh, he missed it. Oh, I missed him, actually. All I'm doing is I've got a, a white fluke on. Just a Zoom white fluke, which I, I, are my favorite flukes to fish. They're uh, inexpensive and they, they work, obviously. Um, and I'm, I'm fishing it pretty aggressively. I'm not kind of popping and letting it sink. I'm pulling it pretty hard. And then on top of that, I'm winding pretty consistently. So it's a really aggressive retrieve. And these fish are, these fish are digging it. Ooh, now I'm swimming it really close to the surface. Right there. That's not a big guy. And they're just grabbing it off the surface just like that. And this is probably my, I don't know, 12th fish or so. His turns are still coming back in and diving here. He's looking at my bait. So we know the bait fish are still here. Oh, that guy just missed it. This one just jumped right there at my... Okay, so I'm back at the house now. It's later in the evening. Uh, I think some of the thunderstorms have rolled through. We really didn't get the thunderstorms I was thinking of, but the system still came through. And uh, I think that's why those fish were so piled up and so aggressive, which is great. You know, it was a great combination of the wind just blowing in and then the, the right pressure system coming through. And I've never, you know, that's, I've caught a lot of fish before when I was fishing either Shingle Creek or the Susquehanna back home, but never that many in that short amount of time. So the camera died and what ended up happening was I ended up fishing longer and I probably caught another 20 fish. Uh, some around three pounds, some are small. And then the cool thing was I, I actually ran out of flukes and what I ended up doing was putting on a fluke, or not a fluke, sorry, I put on a spook and was just working top water. And even though it was windy and kind of wavy, um, they didn't care. And even though you, you, want the, uh, you normally want a spook to kind of work side to side, I was just ripping it across the surface of the water as fast as I could pull it, and they were smashing it, and it was fun. 
and uh, that lasted probably for another 45 minutes after the, the video ended. So I don't know if that lake is going to fish like that ever again or, you know, how often it does fish like that, but it was super fun. Don't expect to catch that many fish if you go there. I've gone there and caught like one or two every now and then, but that would, today was just perfect conditions and it was awesome. Uh, if you can see my thumb, my, uh, my thumb is kind of chewed up. Actually, both my thumbs are chewed up and it was a good day. And I actually ended up getting that giant... Uh, uh, bowfin and those uh, bigger bass that I thought weren't on camera, I got them on camera, so I'm pretty happy about that. So later this week, I'm going to head out to uh, Haines City and go to Lake Confusion and fish that place because I lost the footage from there when I had a SD card reader error. So I'm going to go there. It's a really small lake. There's a, a lot of really cool structure around it. It's not very big. It's probably you know a few acres. I'm going to go fish that and have some fun there and uh, and get you guys that footage. But um, you know, today was a great day, super happy, had a lot of fun. I had to go buy more baits afterwards because I, I ran, literally ran out of Senkos and I ran out of flukes today. So hopefully um, I'll catch a couple of nice fish there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you know, uh, like it, share, subscribe. You know, I appreciate those guys who do comment and watch my videos and uh, it makes doing this fun for me. So uh, when I get the footage up, I, I will go and put the stuff up from Lake Confusion, but I'm going to render the footage right now for this video and get it up online. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.